left hand one was before. Yeah. You can see that ball now, obviously. Yeah, it's nowhere near. Quite a long way forward. Okay, mm. that, that line's a bit tilted, but still, it's going to be. It's left of your sternum. Yeah. Okay, so the natural arc now, of this golf club, is going to bottom out early and then on the way up. Yeah. Okay, so they hit the ground early, flat it. Yeah. If the hands are forward to try and compensate, yeah. it gets very diggy. Yeah. Okay, as we said when you come to golf here now, as you came back through the hands and sort of pulled through. Your hands are now ahead of your left leg before contact. Now you're striking the ball, and your hands have moved forward yeah, the, the width of your leg. Yeah. So quite a bit of movement there, yeah. okay? And that's going to de-loft the club, hit it low when you make a good shot, yeah. and increase the leading edge. So it gets very diggy. Club sticks in the ground. Yeah. And then you duff one. It goes right here somewhere. And you go, oh, duff the last one. I'll miss the ground next time. And you send it across the green. Yeah. It takes you three or four shots to get up beyond the green in any yourself. case. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So... Set yourself up with the ball kind of more middle-ish, okay? Now, in terms of your practice sort of routine, start to side the ball, making sort of three or four continual swings. Again, there's, there's some hinge of wrist there, your arm. There's, there's no sort of stiffness or tension as your arms are swinging back and through. Set the golf ball there now. Ball no more middle-ish. Hands yeah, a smidgen hands a forward. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't mind it being too far forward, but don't try and preset too much as you go back. You can return back to the golf ball. Hands a smidge forward because the setup was better. Yeah. The angle of the goal was better. You swing through the arms and just go through. Don't try to sort of exaggerate this. Just allow the arms to just to basically hinge and unhinge. As your arms swing when you're walking, they just swing back and forth. This shoulder needs to be loose. But I think in the past when you got a little bit anxious or worried about these shots, yeah. tension in the shoulder blade, you sort of just stick in the ground. Your arms get yeah. very tight. Your grip gets tight. And it's like, how do you try and judge it when you're just stiff and locked? And if you hit a few bad shots, guys say, oh, stop flicking your wrist. Stop getting all loose. You just tighten things up. Yeah. Become more control, but you can't feel now. If I said throw a ball to that flag, you wouldn't lock every muscle and try and flat out. Exactly. You just pick up a ball, look at your target, sort of swing your arm back kind of this way. Yeah. Same with a chipper, you just swing your arm back and forth this way. But the golf ball needs to be in a position, exactly, don't pre them forward, okay? The golf ball needs to be in a position where it can come back and bottom out at the right spot. If the ball's too far forward, you've got to make some kind of adjustment to hit that ball correctly. And if you don't, you'll thin or fat it. Yeah. And if the adjustment's made, you can sit the club in the ground because you push your hands forward too much. So then your adjustment's going to create another variety of shot. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God, yeah. And if the ground, especially like Forest of Arden, the ground have been quite soft and lush, I'd imagine, the fairways, like walking on carpets. So if you hit the ground beyond the ball there, it's just a face full of mud and the ball goes about three or four feet. So, so yeah, three or four practice swings aside, just feeding that sort of, the bounce of the club, as we call it. And, just, and you can hear the sound of that club actually hitting the ground. But it won't dig. No. The back of the club is it's like a spoon. The front's like a knife. It feel it. The problem is people hit the ground behind the ball and it sticks in because their handle's gone forward and the ball's just too far forward. They hit the ground at the right spot with the shaft being leaned too far. It becomes a really low kind of... Love your shot, mate. A low sort of stick in the ground. So, just, yeah, just allow that club... You should be able to play chip shots, especially this length, and we should be able to not see where you've been if you hit 20 shots, you'd come out and say, okay, where was your shots played? Whereas before, we can kind of see, yeah. you kind of knew where you were. You okay, back, exactly. You, you go back, you go back two weeks later, oh, there, Mike was here. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas now, it's more of a, I'm brushing the turf and just disturbing the turf like that. Much better. Make sense of me? Yeah.